Frank on TV again. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Day 10 of Vita. Hopefully, I don't break nothing in my apartment while I'm trying to leave. So, today, guys, I'm actually going to be shooting today with Brent out in the field. Okay, that just means that I'm not going to be sitting in the office all day. And we're going to be shooting some really cool spaces today, which I'm excited about. And we're going to try to make today's vlog a little bit more interesting than yesterday's. I promise. And I'm on the block. I like this song. absolutely no idea what he's talking about in that song at all okay so I made it where I need to be and now I'm just waiting on Brent to get here and I will be right with the world kind of hungry probably need to see if we can stop and grab something to eat first and then we can get on with the day while I'm sitting here though I'm, I have to ask do you really think Usher has herpes the bigger question is really do you believe everything you hear about celebrities do you believe in the illuminati do you believe that some of these people that are said to be a part of scientology are actually a part of scientology do you believe that chris brown actually beat up rihanna do you believe that uh michael jackson actually did things with children like i'm saying all these certain questions because these are like all hyped up media frenzies around like these celebrities whenever they came out and whenever they are out but were you in the room whenever it happened or the people that say they were in the room really in the room whenever it happened did they really do it or is it just all fluff to bring ratings to the news station uh are these women like accusing these people or, or are these just like false allegations rather that's the really that's really the way that I want to say this I feel like celebrities get a bad rap I feel like celebrities get a rap, bad rap not all the time but majority of the time like I feel like people go after them because they one they have money two they have influence and three it's interesting to the people that are watching because they want to know whether or not they really did it. When in actuality, it could just be some drummed up story that somebody planted. Or it could be like a plot or a ploy by the celebrity to actually gain some type of like hype around their name. I'm telling you, man. Like Not everything you hear and see is like true and real. And that means everything. This guy cut off all his hair. Don't be jealous. It's a cool thing. Dude. Yeah, we were supposed to shoot somewhere else, but we ended up shooting in a different space. Can't tell you exactly where we were supposed to shoot, so I'm going to be as cryptic as possible. But well, let's just say that he's a pretty famous person. And I'm just going to leave it at that. We are on low Kishon. Well, we're not shooting in this garage, and I'm probably darkest. Nope, I'm not dark. Am I dark? Acceptable exposure. Acceptable exposure. But, I mean, when you shoot an auto like you do, I... I mean, you have to shoot an auto when you're recording this. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a jackass sometimes. This place is epic. Look at the background. That's dark. It looks like carpet. It wasn't carpet. It was actually a cork board. And I'm still tripping because he cut all his hair off. We are almost done. But, but he got the pee. What? I said you have the pee. I got a pee. So we're almost finished here. Um, I think Brent's going to record some tight video stuff. Uh, and I have to find something to eat. I haven't eaten anything all day today. That's a wrap. Now we're going to pack up. Get in the truck, and I think that's gonna be the end of work for today. Not really, because I still have some other work that I need to do, but it just felt good saying that. 
All right, so I need to give everyone an update right now. I am working. This is this is Brandy. Hold on, I don't think you can actually see this. That's the only one that you can see her if I make myself extremely dark. Say hey, okay. say hey, people. <laughs> All right, so right now we're working. I'm working to help her get some stuff together for her. And yeah, that's what I've been doing since I got home. Not very like exciting or interesting, but that's what we gotta do. Sorry. This is probably my fourth or fifth cup of coffee today. Whew! Mm. My cup says king. Okay, so guys, you saw me talking to my good friend, Brandy, AKA at Vixen Bay. Um, and of course my wife would be here when I'm getting ready to vlog. Hi, wife. Look at this. This looks really good right now. Come look. Okay. <laughs> okay, now that I'm actually about two and a half minutes into recording this, I guess I'll start. So what Brandy was talking to me about just a second ago was that she's actually wanted to start a vlog about traveling, but didn't really know exactly how to start or really didn't have the confidence to feel normal when it came to actually walking around, holding a camera in front of her and talking to a camera as if people were watching. As Chastity pours a bowl of cereal in the background. But back to what I was saying was that this is not something that's n abnormal to me hearing because people are always fascinated with the fact that I don't really care that people are watching me walk around while I'm holding my camera and I'm talking to it. My camera is almost like my imaginary friend. So all you guys out there watching, hi imaginary friends. But on a serious note, what I wanna do is actually give you some practical steps and tips that I practice and started practicing that which made me feel comfortable holding my camera in public places while recording my vlog. Damn, that was a lot to say. Now, the first thing that you wanna do so you won't sound like a belligerent idiot like I do sometimes, is practice talking to the camera while you're at home. Like right now, like I'm doing in a stagnant, sedentary, set position, talk to your camera as if you're talking to an actual person and actually have steps and things like that that you're going to be doing and or uh, like create some random videos. You don't even have to put those videos out, just record them and hold them, keep them and like watch them on the playback. Now me, I posted mine, Whew, I posted them. Not really happy that I actually did. If you go back and watch them, you'll understand why. But that actually helped me get really comfortable with like what I was going to be putting out there and made me really comfortable with talking to the camera itself. Okay. The second thing that I actually do now, it might not seem like it, but I actually have somewhat of a routine that I do every single day. Uh, even though that routine might fall apart, I actually have a timeline in my head on what I'm going to be doing that day or the next day. Now you might not sit down and write this timeline out, but it's going to be something that you always live through. And it's something that you know is going to happen on this day and every other day that you would be living, even if you weren't recording it. So have that in mind. That way you will know what parts of the day would be, I guess you could say good enough to record and what won't be good enough to record. And it gives you an idea when you should have your camera with you and when you should just leave it in the car, backpack, wherever else you actually have it. The third thing is something that I struggled with at the beginning and have finally got accustomed to doing the way that I wanna do it, which is be yourself on camera. There are a plethora of different people that are on YouTube right now and actually creating content the way that they want to create content. And it's okay to go to them, watch them, and somewhat get somewhat of a style from them on how they're doing their vlogs. 
but the moment that you find yourself and see yourself actually mimicking them it's time to stop for a minute because Casey Neistat is a very famous vlogger but there's only room on the internet for one Casey or one Gary Vaynerchuk or one Daily Davidson's like you have to figure out the best way for you to get your message out and be yourself on the camera because nobody wants to watch someone pretend to be somebody that they're actually not and it actually makes it easier for you to actually come out and actually feel comfortable with being yourself in front of the camera makes sense and last but not least and last but not least guys record yourself and speak to the camera with a little bit of confidence you actually have to be confident that you one know what you're talking about or too confident that someone is gonna watch this video. Even if it's just you watching the video and getting yourself some views, you know that somebody's gonna watch this and you know that someone is going to enjoy this. So you need to record it as such. And then if you have like some issues with walking into places while holding the camera with confidence, what I do is I start recording before I enter into the place. I start recording, talking to the camera as if I'm supposed to be there with that camera. And that's what I do. I feel like the moment that I enter into the parking lot, I'm already into the place where I'm gonna go. Except for places like Walmart, because I got kicked out of Walmart. It wasn't but it wasn't because of the, the music video either. Some lady just saw me with a camera and said, You can't be in here with that. So be careful on where you go. But whenever you're going into those places, make sure that you act like you're supposed to be there all right and on that note i'm gonna end today's vlog i feel like i've given you guys a lot of information today and i got some work to do but anyway lesson of the day is just do stuff y'all thought i was gonna cuss in your dirty minds but you need to just get out and do it because you're not going to get anywhere sitting back and saying that you're that you're going to do it. You're, I'm going to do it. 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 Or you want it to be a specific way. You might not be able to get that specific way. So you just need to just start somewhere. All right. That's it. I will see y'all tomorrow. Deuces. Babe, where my cake at? I still don't know what she did with that cake. As usual guys, thank you for coming and tuning in to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you check out the what's in my bag video. It's about my gear. And what's your favorite song that's on the radio right now? This is mine.